We're back for another Quick Tip Tuesday, and I've been getting some questions about adding audio keyframes. It's quick and easy. Let me show you how to do it. Let's jump into Resolve. I use audio keyframes all the time, and take a look at my timeline here. I've got two clips. This is the same clip. Now, this is the clip without any keyframes on it, and this is how I keyframe the clip so that the music volume sits good below my voice while I'm talking. So you've got a few different ways you can add in keyframes. I use them all the time. My favorite way to add in the keyframes is to come to my music track and let's say first I want to set this I'm going to bring it down let's just say I bring it to minus 15 ish and then I want to lower the part where it gets a little louder so I'm just going to hold my option key on a Mac or alt key on a PC and click on my gain line which is this white line right here and boom it's going to add in a keyframe for me now I'm going to go ahead and add in a second keyframe and you can choose however far apart you want to make them you can use your playhead to line it up and move ahead a few frames or hold shift, jump ahead a second. It's up to you where you want to put it. And again, I'm going to hold alt on a PC or option on a Mac, click on that gain line. And now I've got two points. So what I can do is grab the white gain line on either side of my keyframes and bring it down or bring it up. And then we're going to have a little transition between my two keyframes. So let's say the first one we want there, the second one, I want to drop that down a little bit. And now we've got a gradual decrease in the sound. Here's what it sounds like. I wanted to share this DaVinci Resolve file with my buddy who I filmed all this stuff for at their Not too bad. Now you can add as many keyframes as you want. Again, holding my option or alt key. Boom, boom, boom. We can just keep adding them in. You can select a keyframe by just hovering over it. Make sure you've got your uh, pointer selected right here. You can hover over it, click hold and drag it around. We can move it up, move it down. You can move them individually. If you hold your shift key, it'll keep it in the plane that it's currently in. And you can just add them in that way. It's real quick and easy. Now, if you don't see your gain line for some reason, come on over to your timeline view options right here. And you want to make sure that this guy is clicked on right here, audio waveforms. If you don't see your waveforms, you're not going to see your gain line and you're not going to be able to do anything with adding keyframes. Now, the other way that you can add in some keyframes is to come to your inspector. Make sure that your clip is selected. And in our inspector under the audio tab, under volume, we have the ability to keyframe our volume, which is the same thing that we're doing down here in our timeline by adding in these points. We can also keyframe our pan. If you want to pan right to left or left to right, you can keyframe that in as well right here in the edit tab. So that's the second way that you can keyframe your audio right here in the edit tab. You don't even have to jump into Fairlight. So in the edit tab here, you can only keyframe your volume and your pan. Now you can actually keyframe or automate any audio parameter that you want from a plugin to EQ to frequencies to panning to anything you can automate or keyframe automation is like keyframe you can do that for any audio parameter it's a little more complicated and I've got a whole video about it right up here so you can check that out if you're interested but for basic keyframes for your volume adjustments you could do it right here in the edit tab and it works out really good if you want to take your audio to that next level check out my audio course audio essentials for video editors in DaVinci Resolve I'll link it in the description below if it's something you're interested in, check it out it's a one-stop shop to learn how to work with your audio and make it sound awesome all right guys with that said i look forward to seeing you in the next video peace